Hello and welcome to my virtual class, Essential Oils as a Lifestyle. This introductory class is focused on the basics. It's my joy and passion to share this information with others. I believe there's a better way, a way of living naturally, and I'm excited to share that with you today. Your video and microphone are turned off to limit distractions. I will turn on your microphone at the end of the class for question and answer if it's necessary, and um, I'll follow up with each one of you individually after the class. So thanks for joining me. So first, let me introduce myself. My name is Shannon Abbott Ball. I'm an essential oil educator. I'm an enthusiast for holistic health. I'm a mom of two, soon to be three, any day now. And I am the wife and family coordinator for my lovely family of soon to be five. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at My Earth Essentials. I post a lot of educational information there. My Facebook name is Shannon Abbott Ball, and I do have a private Facebook group that I keep for um, customers and people interested in essential oils. And you can also email me anytime as well. So today, what we're going to cover is why I care about a natural approach and why you might also care, what essential oils are, how to use them, the top 10 essential oils and some of their uses, and how you might get started with essential oils in your life. So I believe that our behavior is an expression of our beliefs. When we know better, we do better. I want you to leave this class feeling empowered to take care of yourself in a way that you haven't done so before. I believe there's a time and a place for modern medicine and I am thankful for the medical advances that we have. But I also think that it's worth exploring nature solutions before taking a synthetic approach. Your body is truly designed to heal itself when it's given the right tools. And people have really no idea how great their bodies are designed to feel. And I love empowering people to do that through the use of essential oils. Let me tell you a little bit about my journey to essential oils. I started using essential oils five years ago before the birth of my first child. I wanted to eliminate all chemicals from my house, so I turned to essential oils first and I fell in love. Five years later, my house is 100% chemical free in cleaning products, body care, skin care, and even makeup. My family is not on any prescription medication and we rarely take any synthetic drugs. And essential oils are the first thing I turn to when my family gets sick and I'm completely comfortable using them frequently for myself, my husband, and my kids. I share about essential oils because I want others to know that living without chemicals is a reality. I love this quote, um, it says you deserve to feel vibrant, strong, capable, and empowered. And I believe that's true, and I would love to help you feel that way through using essential oils. Before we go too much further, let's do a health check-in. Let's talk about your physical body, your emotional health, and your spiritual body. You might want to record your answers to any of these questions, just so that you can think about how you might want to use essential oils to most benefit you. In terms of your physical body, how do you feel? Do you have pain, fatigue? What is your energy level? Are you easily affected by outside circumstances in terms of your emotional health? Do you feel confident? Do you feel happy? In terms of your spiritual body, how strong is your connection to others, to yourself? How grateful do you feel? Do you feel connected to your purpose? And I think that these are all really important questions to ask yourself when you're thinking about a holistic view of your health. I love this quote also. Um, when we're thinking about health care, can we put it back into our own hands? Can we trust our bodies? And this quote from many years ago with Thomas Edison says, the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will instruct his patients in care of the human frame in diet and in the cause and prevention of disease. And I think that we can all agree that that is not how our current medical system is. I want to give a little disclaimer before I go too far into my presentation, but I am not a doctor. I just teach people how to enable their body to heal itself. I personally use natural approaches to prevent and then as a first attempt in healing the body. I respect medical professionals. I definitely go to the doctor um, and I believe there is a time and a place for both holistic and modern approaches. 
And if you have a serious health condition, always consult with your doctor first and lay out your options with them. So this, um, the information from this slide comes from a new documentary that's out called The Truth About Cancer. If you haven't heard of it or haven't seen it, I urge you to watch it and look it up. Um, it's very, very interesting. So the world we live in today is kind of scary. Autoimmune diseases, food allergies, type 2 obedies, they're all on the rise at alarming rates. And why? Well, I believe it's because of the chemicals around us, amongst many other things. Um, and like I said, there's a new documentary. I really encourage you to watch it. It's great. And this is where I got a lot of this information from. So let's talk about drugs first. The drug debt overdose rates in the U.S. have more than tripled in the last couple decades, which is troubling. Preschoolers are the fastest growing group of um, people being prescribed prescription drugs. That's quite scary to me because I have two small children. Um, there are over 10 million adverse reactions from FDA approved drugs, which is quite alarming that we still put so much faith in medicine as a healing solution when there are so many adverse reactions to the things that we are often prescribed to take. 60,000 to 140,000 people die each year from drug reactions, which isn't a huge number when you think about the total population, but it's still, it's still a big enough number to take notice of. In terms of big pharmacy and the pharmaceutical industry, um, the pharmaceutical industry is the most profitable of all U.S. businesses, and America is the only country where pharmaceutical companies are allowed to directly market drugs to consumers. So a lot of the times, patients get specific drugs because of a commercial that they watch. So they go into the doctor and request something specific that they saw on TV, which is troubling. Um, the rise of diseases. So this statistic is one of the most alarming in the whole documentary that I watched, but about 4,600 Americans will be diagnosed with cancer today. So it's not this week, this month, this year, but in one day. So that's a pretty high average. 350 million people suffer from depression. And again, I would personally attribute that to the chemicals that are around us. Um, the number one cause of liver failure, this is really interesting, is from the gradual use of acetaminophen. So, of course, that's one of those things that we take every once in a while when we have a fever or a headache, but um, it's one of those things that can be taken too often as well. And there are other solutions for the body besides just using Tylenol. Um, type 2 diabetes is a global public health issue. As I mentioned, that's one of those diseases that's really a big problem for the U.S. and it continues to grow. These statistics about um, birth are also quite interesting. About 75,000 chemicals are regularly manufactured and imported by U.S. industries. 287 chemicals are detected in newborn's umbilical cord on average. So out of those, 180 cause cancer, 217 are toxic to the brain and nervous system, and 208 of them can cause birth defects. So that is quite, quite <laughs> alarming to me. We are exposed to about 200 toxic chemicals a day just from our personal care products alone. So, you know, looking around your room, I'm not sure what kind of lotion you have or makeup you use or shampoo, all those kinds of things have toxic chemicals in them that we don't even really notice because they're just part of our daily life. So I want you to start taking note of that a little bit more. As we move on to the next section, I want you to have a new mindset. I want you to believe in the power of nature. Nature offers us powerful solutions to many of our body's needs, and these solutions are even more powerful when we learn how to use it. So let's talk about essential oils. Have you heard a lot of buzz about them lately? I find that so many people are curious about oils, but they either don't know what they are or don't know how to use them. Quite simply, essential oils come from plants. Pure quality essential oils are only plants. Plants have tiny oil sacs in them that protect them from the environment, and these oil sacs can be carefully distilled out of the plant to create small bottles of essential oils that you might be familiar with. Our bodies and plants have similar building blocks, so our body readily accepts the compounds contained in an essential oil. Let's unpack this slide, which has a lot of information on it. 
Essential oils are natural, safe, and effective, but it's very important to know that not all essential oils are created equal. I'm gonna talk about this in detail because this is one of the most important things to know when you're deciding what essential oil company you might trust. As I said in the last slide, pure essential oils only come from plants. Essential oils are as much as 70 times more powerful than their herbal counterparts. So one drop of peppermint oil could be equated to 28 cups of peppermint tea. Although essential oils can seem a little expensive, they're actually very affordable when you quantify what you can get from one bottle. And the best thing about essential oils is that there are no known side effects. They are truly a natural solution. And of course, safe usage of them is important too. Essential oils are an effective solution for our body because they work at the cellular level to protect cells. Impurities and threats in our body reside inside and outside of cells. The compounds from oils can penetrate into cell membranes and fight against threats. Oils work with our body to help heal itself. The best part about using oils is that it's a natural solution and our body doesn't build up a resistance to the compounds. Um, and there are a lot of scientific um, information out there about how essential oils work with our cells and affect into the cellular level. I'd be happy to share that with anyone who wants more scientific explanation behind that. In terms of safety, this is one of the most important points in my entire presentation, so please listen up. Essential oils are very safe, but not all essential oil companies are created equal. The FDA does not regulate supplement companies, including essential oils. So this means that companies can do and claim whatever they want in terms of quality and ingredients. The only thing that companies can't claim is the treatment and cure of diseases, but their ingredients and processes are not regulated at all. So it's important to research essential oil companies and know what their standards are before you choose to go with one particular company. There are four grades of essential oils. Synthetic means that it contains toxic chemical fragrances that are made to smell like a plant. So it's created in a lab to smell like lavender, et cetera. Um, I've seen these on sale at many big box stores, so be really careful of what you see. Food grade means that it can be used for cookings and flavorings, peppermint extract, and so on. And oftentimes alcohol is added as a preservative. Therapeutic is where things get really messy. This label is completely unregulated and it can mean compromised quality of the oil you are getting, which also means compromised safety. Certified pure therapeutic grade is a standard created by a company called doTERRA. doTERRA created its own testing and standards to ensure the quality of their oils. And this is the most important part. So it's third party tested each time they bottle an essential oil. Again, the FDA does not have standards regulating the organic label in supplements or cosmetics. This means that any oil company can claim organic, but it's not verified. doTERRA's certified pure therapeutic grade criteria is extremely stringent, and they're the only company doing something like this. I wanna unpack this just a little bit more about how essential oils work. Um, I think this is an important piece of understanding why they are so beneficial to the body. When we have an ailment, Threats reside inside our cells, and essential oils are able to pass through the cellular membrane. While the same is not always true of a synthetic option, essential oils work with our body, not against it, and they address the root causes at the cellular level. So when you ap apply an oil topically, it enters your bloodstream within two minutes, and within 20 minutes, every cell in the body is affected. So taking an oil internally affects us almost immediately. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in a minute. So what is doTERRA? doTERRA was founded in 2008 by the leading essential oil experts and chemists as they saw a need for a quality product where regulation standards were lacking. The most important thing about doTERRA beyond the certified pure therapeutic grade rating <clears throat> is that they source their plants from indigenous regions, ensuring a superior quality. doTERRA calls this standard co-impact sourcing because they not only get a high quality plant, but they pay a high quality price to the local farmers who grow it, and they then improve the economic conditions around the world. doTERRA's philanthropic arm is called the Healing Hands Foundation, and it continues those efforts to, infect, 
to affect, excuse me, um, impoverished communities around the world. I love doTERRA personally because I feel like they're making a lasting effect on the global economy. I encourage you to look at their YouTube channel to learn more about the life-changing work that they're doing around the world. They have some great videos there. When I started using doTERRA essential oils, my nose really told me the difference between what I had been buying at the health food stores. If you compare doTERRA against other brands, doTERRA is by far and away superior. So I'm going to unpack this certified pure therapeutic grade rating for you a little bit more too. The explanations of this are really interesting and um, I'm going to send you a document after the class which explains the five tests that I'll go over that doTERRA does. In order for an oil to be considered certified pure therapeutic grade, it has to be pure and natural, carefully extracted from plants, it has to be free from fillers or artificial ingredients, and no dilution of the active qualities. It has to be free of contaminants, pesticides, or any chemical residues. And this is the important part. So there's five third-party tests that are performed on each bottle of oil to ensure quality, purity, and potency. It's sourced by a global network of leading essential oil chemists and growers to ensure that the correct species, growth in the ideal environments, which again, we believe is the indigenous environment, and that raw plant materials were carefully harvested at the appropriate time to extract the highest benefits of the plant. And those five tests that they perform are extremely scientific, so I will send you that document that explains those in a little bit more detail. So why would you choose doTERRA? I miss all the other reasons that I already mentioned, but I personally choose doTERRA because of their superior quality, safety, and efficacy. As you can see from the map, doTERRA sources their plants from around the world, from the indigenous regions where these plants grow. And we all know that plants grow best where they are born. Um, doTERRA works with the farmers in places around the world to ensure farmers are fairly paid for the efforts in growing and harvesting these quality plants. They call this co-impact sourcing, like I mentioned earlier. It's high quality for us and high quality pay for the farmers. And their testing standards are phenomenal, which I love. So you can see some of these plants where they come from. It's really interesting, like ginger from India, um, clove and lang lang from Madagascar, grapefruit from Florida. So a lot of these start to make sense as you look at the map. So you might be wondering, now that you've been listening to this, why should you use essential oils? Well, they're natural, they're safe, they're affordable. They can often rid our need for a synthetic solution, and they address the root cause of a problem that we have going on instead of masking any symptoms. They're available at your home immediately when you purchase them, and you can begin to educate yourself about how to use essential oils and affect different systems of the body. And best of all, for me, there's no side effects. I love that. It may seem like essential oils are a recent trend because the people are talking about them a lot lately, but the use of essential oils has been around for centuries. Humans have been using plants as healers dating all the way back to the first documented use of Ayurvedic medicine in India, which was in about 2700 BC. Hippocrates used many plant solutions with his patients. As modern medicine was being developed in the 1900s, there are countless stories of plant-based solutions being used, including lavender used to heal the skin and eucalyptus fighting the flu in both world wars. As modern medicine has become increasingly more synthetic, more people are turning to natural solutions, and this is why essential oils are becoming very popular. So how can you use essential oils? Well, I have, as I've hopefully established, I only trust the use of doTERRA essential oils. When I speak about essential oils going forward, I'm really only referring to the safety of doTERRA. doTERRA can be used aromatically, topically and internally. So let's talk about aromatically first. What you breathe affects your mood. So as an aside, this is one of the reasons that the candle industry is so popular. However, all candles give us are toxic chemicals. The brain smells that, that beautiful smell from the candle and it can't necessarily differentiate between the synthetic and the natural smell. 
Aromatic use of essential oils cleanses the air and supports healthy breathing. Aromatic use can also be achieved by smelling directly from an essential oil bottle for 20 to 30 seconds. Aromas trigger a certain part of our brain called the olfactory bulb, which is known as the emotional brain. These odor stimuli trigger a series of brain chemicals. And the olfactory bulb is the only place in the body where the central nervous system is directly exposed to the environment. Our brain is designed to use aroma to soothe and protect itself. Oil molecules are said to reach the brain in 22 seconds. Topically, so let's talk about that. Consider your skin as a sponge, not a barrier. The skin is our largest organ. Oils can be found in the bloodstream in under two minutes after putting them on topically. And after 20 minutes, every cell in the body will be affected. The feet are a great receptacle for oils and are a safe place to put them for kids. You can put oils anywhere on the body to target a specific area. It's important to know which oils need to be diluted for the skin and which ones do not. And lastly, internally, essential oils from doTERRA that are marked with a supplement fax box, just like you would see on any other um, supplement, are for dietary use, in addition, of course, to being aromatic and topical use. You can add these essential oils to water, put them under your tongue, or put them in a veggie capsule. Veggie capsules are made of plant ingredients and can be used to place drops of oils inside and then swallowed like a pill. Very simple and it's very effective. Essential oils nourish the whole body, including the digestive system, mouth, throat, and liver, specifically when you're taking it internally. Using them topically can have the same effects as well. When I talk about using essential oils internally, um, I get a lot of questions about, is that really safe? And it's amazing to me that thinking about taking something plant-based, we have to question, but when we think about a synthetic drug that is offered from a doctor, that is, that is okay. Um, so is the internal use of essential oils safe? Yes, it absolutely is, but only with certified pure therapeutic grade oils. So education is really important for this one. You need to know which ones you can take internally and which ones you cannot. But this is one of the fastest way to target areas of the body. So I've talked to you a lot about why natural solutions are important, why they're important to me, what essential oils are, how to use them. But let's talk about how essential oils could become a part of your daily life. This is the wellness pyramid that doTERRA um, adheres to when they're talking about essential oils in a lifestyle. Exercising and eating right are, of course, at the base of the pyramid because this is the basis of everything. Our lifestyle affects our body, our mind, and our spirit, and we have to do everything we can to take care of ourselves in that regard. We have only one body and one life, and I don't know about you, but I personally want to get it right. So I take exercising and eating right very seriously. The top four pillars of the pyramid are where I believe essential oils can come into play. At the top, we have proactive health care and informed self-care. When we learn about natural options, we're more comfortable with the body and its ability to heal. You'll find yourself at the doctor less often when you trust the body and learn to use natural solutions, and you'll feel really empowered. And it's my personal goal to bestow that gift on you. As we saw from the slides at the beginning, we have to do everything we can to reduce our toxic load. And most importantly, we have to rest and manage our stress. So these are the top 10 oils that come in the two most popular starter kits from doTERRA. There are, there are lots of starter kits besides these. There's also an Aroma Touch kit um, that I'd be happy to talk to you about, and there's an Emotional Aromatherapy kit, depending on what exactly your beginning needs for essential oils are. There are lots of ways to get started. But I'm going to talk about the top 10 oils um, because I believe that those are the most common ones. And if you see the hashtag at the top, the top 10 oils by Shannon, <clears throat> you can go to Instagram and look up um, my Instagram feed and I go through each one of these oils and talk about things that you can do with them. So before I go into the examples of the top 10 oils, um, I want to make sure that you have an open mind. Don't compartmentalize these oils too much because 
what I mean by that is that I want you to um, think about what these oils are capable of. And I want you to be aware that the oils I'll mention here are not the only oils in the plant family that can achieve the benefits I'll mention. It's really important to educate yourself about the uses and capabilities of all the oils. And I'll mention some resources for doing so at the end of this presentation. Once you start to educate yourself, experimenting with the oils is one of the best ways to learn. So <clears throat> in terms of your body's needs, essential oils work with your body to address the needs. Your body is different from everyone else's and some oils may affect you differently. And natural healing is much different than medicinal healing because it addresses the root cause versus masking any symptoms. And so sometimes that takes a little bit more time than medicinal healing. So I'm gonna go through these top 10 oils. I'm not gonna to spend too long talking about each one because I will send out a document afterward that goes through some basic uses for each of the 10 oils as you're starting to become familiar with those. So frankincense is really a must have in my opinion. This is one of the more expensive and rare oils. So it's really nice that it comes in the two most basic starter kits. Frankincense supports a healthy body and mind and it's very restorative for our body. I personally love to use this one as a relaxing um, oil before sleep or to support my skin or my nails. I use this um, frequently on my body. And you can actually also use this to reduce the appearance of blemishes and help rejuvenate your skin. Lavender is one of those oils that most people have heard of and have used at least once or twice or considered it. Lavender is calming, focusing, it supports rest and relaxation, and it also helps to support our skin. <clears throat> one of my favorite tips of, for this one is putting one drop on a small cut for a child or onto a bug bite. Um, it has some natural antihistamines in it that can help support the skin and help to relieve those symptoms of cuts and bug bites for kids. Lemon oil is so refreshing. It's uplifting and it helps support detoxification. Um, this is a great oil for cleaning around the house because like most citrus oils, it has a lot of antibacterial properties. And this also helps to support detoxification in our body. Melaleuca is cleansing. It supports germ fighting. Um, this is a great oil also for hair, skin, and nails. So I'll use this one on my nails as well. <clears throat> and I also like to add a drop of this to my shampoo or conditioner each day just to stimulate hair growth and keep my hair follicles healthy. Oregano is one of the best oils for the immune system. I really call it the immunity idol. It's extremely protective and it helps to support our body against infection. So I like to rub this on my feet every day just to help my body stimulate the immune system and work as hard as it can to keep me healthy. Peppermint is another oil that's really popular that a lot of people have tried. Um, it's very cooling, soothing, stimulating, it helps support our metabolism, digestion, and clear breathing. Um, one of my favorite tips for this one is diluting it with some fractionated coconut oil, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, and putting it on a child's forehead for a fever. The peppermint is very cooling for the body, so it can help to relieve the fever, and I've often had success with helping break a fever with peppermint. So this so one has a lot of uses, but that's one of my favorite ones for my family. So breathe, um, so the six oils I just went through are the six singular oils that are in the top 10 most popular, and then the next four are all blends of oils that doTERRA has created. So breathe is just like it sounds, it's a respiratory blend. It is a wonderful for respiratory support. The ingredients you can see on the screen has laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, melaleuca, lemon, ravensara, and cardamom. Cardamom is one of the most powerful oils for helping our body um, cleanse germs and specifically for respiratory support. Deep Blue is a soothing blend. Um, this one is fantastic for muscle support, tension, stress. Um, it is a very powerful oil and I like to use this one often when I have a headache 
or any kind of tension in my neck, which I tend to carry sometimes. The ingredients in this one are wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, blue chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus flower oils. Digestin is one of those oils that people call an oil converter. People who are skeptical about oils will try this one for a digestive issue and feel the success of it and then are converted to believing that essential oils can help them. So digestin is a mixture of some really powerful oils that are great for the digestive system like ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon, and fennel. This one can be taken internally or applied topically for children. Um, taking it internally is very effective. So again, it will work with your body to find out what's going on in there. Is there bloating, gas, indigestion, um, constipation, those kinds of things that will figure out what's going on, target that area, and help you to heal. On Guard is also a very popular blend that many people have heard of. This is known as the protective blend. So the ingredients in this one are wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Clove is one of the more powerful oils in the plant family. Um, this one it re registers high on the ORAC scale, if you're familiar with that, which measures the level of antioxidants. So clove is helping to stimulate the antioxidant activity in our body and help us to um, protect ourselves when we get sick or to fight off germs when there are some. I love this blend for my children when there's germs going around or when they do get sick. I like to rub it on our feet or diffuse it in the air to help purify whatever we have going on. So you've heard my whole presentation about essential oils, why natural solutions I believe are a fantastic option, and you might be wondering how you get started with that. So there's a couple of options. Um, retail is not something I really go into because it's expensive and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it is an option. Um, wholesale is 25% below retail, and the membership to a wholesale is free with any enrollment kit. So similar to a Costco or a Sam's, the wholesale membership is $35, but it is free with any enrollment kit, and it renews annually for $25 but you receive a 15, 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint with that, so you're kind of getting an added benefit as well. Um, thinking about getting started, these are some of the more popular kits that people choose to get started. And I did mention that emotional aromatherapy um, kit that I talked about, the home essentials, and the family physician kits are the two that contain the top 10 most popular oils that I just went over. The Cleanse and Restore Kit is going to give you some supplements um, instead of going for all oils. So some people choose to go that route and learn more about the supplements, which are of course created with essential oils as well. There's an athlete kit for the athletic people out there who wanna have a little bit more athlete-focused um, starter kit. And the Natural Solutions Kit is one that comes with a variety of things. So it comes with several oils. I believe there's 15 in here of various sizes. And then it also comes with some additional products. Some toothpaste, hand soap, um, some of the cleaning products. And then there also are vitamins and supplements in here. So you're kind of getting exposure to a lot of different things um, in the doTERRA world of, of things that are available to you. So I hope that I've taught you something and inspired you to incorporate doTERRA oils into your life. Whatever your level of interest is, I'd love to support you. When I started my essential oil journey, I always wished that there would be someone there to help guide me. And connecting with someone you trust and can rely on for questions is really important. Most people choose to get started with a starter kit and then branch out from there to discover new oils. I support each of my customers throughout their journey with mentoring and educational opportunities. And that's very important to me. So there are some, uh, some additional items to consider, whatever you do decide to do in terms of your starter kit or the oils that you choose. Fractionated coconut oil is really a must because some oils need to be diluted. 
Um, there are lots of carrier oil options, but this one is my favorite because um, it doesn't have a shelf life and it's very easily absorbed by the skin, so there's no clogging of the pores. Veggie capsules um, are about $4 on a wholesale membership, so it's nice to have those because they're just one ingredient, the vegetable cellulose, and they dissolve quickly in your system, so it's an easy way to take oils internally without having to taste them. The Essential Life book is the most important thing in your essential oil journey, if you are to ask me. Um, this is a third-party book, but it goes through each ailment um, that you could really ever possibly think of and gives you ideas for which essential oils might be most effective. And it also goes through each essential oil and blend um, to give you ideas of what it can be used for and the properties that it has. Aside from the book, I also recommend the Modern Essentials app, which I know is available for iPhone. I'm not sure about Android. Um, but the app does the exact same thing as the Essential Life book. You can type in an ailment and it will give you ideas for how to solve it with an oil, or you can type in an oil and it will tell you the properties that it has. So these four things are really crucial for getting started with your journey. This is what my website looks like, just to familiarize you with it if you are to go there and decide to place an order. My name is Shannon Abbeball, of course, and it's listed here, and my business is called Earth Essentials. I encourage you to connect with me. Like I said, I have a lot of educational information on my on my sites. On Instagram, I'm at My Earth Essentials. I'm on Pinterest. I do have um, a Facebook page, but I also have a private group that's a little bit more interactive. If you would like to join that, please let me know. I have a blog and I also do sell some items on Etsy that I make with my essential oils. After the class, what you can expect is um, I will send you actually a recording of the presentation. I don't send out the copies of the slides anymore because the files are too large and it doesn't often come through. I will ex send out the document explaining the testing standards that I mentioned, and I'll also send out a document outlining ideas for using the top 10 oils in the starter kits. So thank you for joining me today. I very much appreciate your participation and joining me, and I look forward to seeing where your essential oil journey takes you, and I hope to help you with that.